Howdy folks, I'm here in the woods again with my whiteboard which I fear might be a little too reflective. The river is a bit loud today so I hiked up a bit higher away from the river. It's just at the bottom of this cliff behind me. Should I fall and perish, I bequeath this footage to the first person who says first in the comments. Today we've got a nice simple abstract algebra proof. Let's say we've got two elements, A and B, from a group that we'll call G. If A and B commute, then their inverses also commute. So that's what we want to prove. We want to prove that knowing AB equals BA, knowing that these two elements commute, implies that A inverse B inverse equals B inverse A inverse. So if the elements commute, then their inverses commute. This is one of those nice easy proofs that we can actually start here on the left. So consider A inverse B inverse, and then write a few equalities to work our way to where we want to get to, which is always nice and slick. What do we know A inverse B inverse is equal to? Well, in a previous lesson, which I'll leave a link to in the description, we proved that A inverse B inverse is equal to B A inverse. This is often called the socks and shoes property. The idea is that if you put on your socks and then your shoes, and then you want to take them off, which is the inverse, you've got to first take off your shoes, and then you've got to take off your socks. So B A inverse is A inverse B inverse. However, we know that B and A commute. So here where we have BA, we can replace that with AB. So BA inverse is equal to AB inverse. But then again, applying the socks and shoes property, but sort of in a different direction, we know that AB inverse is equal to B inverse A inverse. B inverse A inverse. And so, basically, by two applications of the socks and shoes property, we've shown that A inverse B inverse equals B inverse A inverse, just as desired. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to my proof of that property that we use. That's how you prove that if two group elements commute, then their inverses commute. So, I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching.